Thursdays are epic, like seven, eight sessions in a day. It's a bit of a monster. <laughs> okay, so here we go, we'll start our warm up. So if you just start doing jumping jacks, you don't need to do a full normal warm up. Okay, just doing heel flicks. Hope you haven't done that for the last two, a minute and a half. <laughs> Good, and then did this reverse lunge and reach. Just brief stretch. Step backwards, so opposite, same arm, same leg. So you want to be strong, long as possible on one side. Same arm, same leg. So if you step back on the right, reach up with the right. So switch hands here. Switch hands. That's it. Big stretch. So opposite arm, opposite, uh, same arm, same leg. That's it. So reach backwards and push the hips through. Okay, this side, squat, twist to both sides. Thirty seconds of each of these moves. Okay, back to heel flicks. Jumping jacks. Are the other two following you? Yeah. Right now? Yeah. <laughs> Good. Okay, this side forward lunge and twist, so just step, twist. And twist, just twist over the front leg. You might want to come over here, but there's actually some grass, rather just dust and dirt. So just brief stretches on these, step and twist. Okay, so wide squat and then reach over the top. So a nice wide stance, reach over. Good. 
Good, and press up position, just step and reach. The right foot to right hand, reach up with the right hand, then switch sides. Left foot to left hand, reach up. Then same arm, same leg, reach up, look at the hand at the top of the moon. Let's go opening up the chest and the shoulders. Back to jumpy jacks. That's good. Just a couple more minutes of these warm up moves, and then we can start. Good, and this time, so before it's forward lunge, and reach over the top. So this time, stretch over the top, so stretching out the sides. Okay, and then to press up position, just stretch out through the abs, stretch out through the back of the legs, just lift the hips, and again. Just lift the hips, trying to push the heels back into the floor, and then stretch out through the stomach muscles. Once more, back to heel flicks. Find yourself a bit of grass over here. A bit dusty over that side. Just rest there. Just big circles with the arms. Yeah. And backwards. And stretch out through the chest. And relax there. Okay, so welcome to our boga or our bof yoga. It's not really yoga, we've just pinched loads of different stuff off loads of other things and made it our own. Okay, so all the moves are quite slow, which is all about strength and mobility rather than our normal hit sessions, running sessions, strength sessions, but I'll talk you through each one. So each one takes a minute, we do it for a minute, rest for 30 seconds, then we do the next one. A lot of them are sort of the warm-up moves we do anyway before, uh, before the session. So if you haven't done this before, you'll recognise a few of them from our classes. So the first one is going to be a ab stretch and then hip lift, so a pike position and then ab stretch. With this one, you can throw in press-ups just to add some more strength into it or just concentrate more on the, uh, the actual exercise or the stretch. So the first one that like we did in a warm-up, stretching out through the abs, lift the hips, Okay, and then do a press up. Okay, try to hold each one for a good deep breath out. And lift. And then press up. So you can't, don't need to do the press ups unless you want to. So let's go. One minute. So remember, hold the position at the bottom. Just breathe out. Then lift the hip, sink back. And then press up. And again, stretch. When you do this ab stretch, make sure it's stretching your stomach muscles and not compressing your lower back. So big breath out. And with each of these, we kind of do a floor move, then stand up, doing a st uh, upright move. So stretch, breathe. A stretch in the back of the legs. Uh, 
and rest there, just stand it up. Okay, so next one, your lunge and reach. So reverse lunge, same arm, same leg, breathe twice on this one, reach up, exhale, reach up, exhale. Same on the other side, so as long as possible this side. When you use the arms, try to go backwards, as high as you can, and backwards, okay? So let's go. When you do your lunge, try and keep everything aligned. Remember, breathe twice, and you're trying to get this hip flexor stretch here. Really important uh, tendon here. So big reach up, push the hips through, push the hips through again, and change. So step, reach, breathe out, reach again, breathe out. So if you want to make more work through the legs, just keep the knee off the floor. If you want to concentrate on the stretch, put the knee down, and you get a, big, a slightly bigger stretch. But you can do both, depending on what you want to achieve. This will generate a bit more strength through the legs as you're doing this isometric hold in a lunge. Let's stand up, switch. Okay, remember to push the hips through, reach up and backwards with the hand. So as long as possible on this side. I'm trying to get this hip flexor stretch rather than your quads. And stand up, shake the legs out. Okay, so this I do a groin stretch and then walk out into a, a press up position, do a press up and then walk back. So you're going to start here, push the knees apart, do that walk out, press up and then come back. Push the knees apart, breathe twice and again walk out. So all these walk outs are doing is just stre relieving that stress through the, te the stretch or the tension through the stretch. So let's go. So breathe out twice again, these are stretches we don't normally do at the end of our sessions. So upright, breathe twice, walk the hands out, press up, walk the hands back. So the emphasis on this back move, the stretch through the groin. Pull the knees apart or push them apart with the elbows. And walk the hands out. Push those knees apart, big stretch through the groin, try and keep the heels on the floor, walk out, press up, walk back. <laughs> nice low sink, push the knees apart, and walk out. And rest there, just shake the legs out. So this next one is going to stretch out through the hamstrings. So as if you're doing a normal hamstring stretch, just reach low and stand up, stretch out. So on each one, you're going to stretch, breathe, reach up and breathe. So this leg one will stretch out the hamstrings and at the top, you're stretching out the hip flexors and your abs. So here we go, stretch and reach. On each one, breathe out. As if you're doing a normal hamstring stretch, keep both feet flat on the floor, so all the stretches in the hamstrings, not the calves. And reach. Switch sides. As you breathe out, just sink the chest down lower. Same with the other side. It's nice warm weather, it's perfect for this. The muscles are already supple and warm, so you should be able to get lower than normal. stretch as you breathe out just sink lower so from here see just lower the chest down over that front leg make sure that front leg's locked out and reach good so sink back and rest there okay so this next one we're going to try to stretch out the hip so you're going to be in a press-up position Bring the knee out to 90 degrees, okay, so not up here. Knee out to 90 degrees and then use your own body weight. Just lower your weight on top of this hip and you should get a good stretch, really good stretch on this hip. So come up, press up if you want to, then out to the other side. Again, breathe twice on this one. One, two, up, 
Let's go switch sides. So this should be a really good stretch. Make sure your knee's only 90 degrees. We'll bring the knee up higher next time. So we do the pigeon pose, the glute stretch. We want your knee out to 90 degrees. So the knee should be out to the side rather than under the chest. Again, just play around with your body weight so your knee wants to go out that way, Rona. That's it. Now lower your weight on top of the hip. That's it. So it should be, it should be a, groin, um, a glute stretch. This should all be through the hip here. And again, just play around where you move your body weight to get the best, best stretch through this hip joint. <laughs> and stand it up. Okay, so we go for all these three times. So the second time around, you get more of a hang of this. So the next one, you're going to wide leg stand, stretch out through the hamstrings, breathe out, drop down, touch the floor, breathe out, and then up, and breathe out as you come out of your squats. There's three things stretch out through the hamstrings, try to get the hands to the floor. When you stand up from here, keep pushing the hands backwards, okay? And then back round. So stretch, drop, let's go, reach, and squat. So big stretch, and drop down. So this time we're just trying to get your hands to the floor, don't pull the knees apart. Reach up, and push up. So push up through the heels, and keep reaching back with the hands. So drop, reach, push the hands up and back as you stand up. All three points, big breath out. So stretch, exhale. Drop the hands, keep the heels on the floor, exhale. Reach as you stand up, exhale. So three points, one, two, reach, three. It's really important to keep pushing the hands back as you stand up. And rest there. Okay, now the last one in this set is our pigeon pose or racing pigeon. So this time in a press up position, bring the knee underneath the chest, either lower the body weight down, breathe twice, up, press up, and then swap. Or stay upright and sink back. Again, find out which one of these works best for you. I find this way works better for me, or do it this way. So lower the chest down. Let's go. So knee right underneath the chest this time. Big stretch with the glutes on the bent leg side. That's it. Three twice. So a nice longer stretch. And then the other side. Yeah, optional press ups. You don't have to do the press ups. Now to fully extend that back leg. If you're staying upright, you have to sink back. Extend the stretch through the glutes. And again, just play around with your body position till you find the sweet spot where it really, really stretches out. Okay, two breaths. And rest there. Good work. Okay, so grab a drink, great for your knee. We'll go through all these again. So we'll do this three times. So the first one's a bit of a team, so the second one you get the hang of it. Third, you'll be an expert. So I find out all that money I save on haircuts, I blow it all on sun cream. <laughs> okay, so we're back to our pike position, the ab stretch, and then pike position. Okay, so if any of these, if you're particularly tight anywhere, just hold the stretch for longer. Okay, if you're alright on all the moves, just carry on going through one or two breaths to each one. But if you're 
particularly tight for these glutes or the hips or any of the hamstring stretches, just hold it for two or three breaths before you change over, okay? So here we go, back to our press up position. <laughs> this hip lift you're trying to push the heel back into the floor that way you'll get that stretch through the legs particularly in the calves Okay, so our next one is into our step and reach. So reverse lunge and reach. So stretch out these hip flexors. Okay, so anything you do, sitting down tightens these up. It will shorten your stride, shorten your squat depth and all that. So if you can stretch these out, this really helps. So reach up and backwards. Push the hips through. And breathe twice on this one this time. Longer stretch. Reach up, backwards. Stand up, switch sides. Reach, push the hips through. So again, if you want to put more emphasis through this stretch, put the knee down and then lean back, push the hips through at the same time. And if you want to do a bit more of the strength, just hold up, hover the knee off the floor. So working the legs as well as stretching these ligaments. push the hips through. So reach up and backwards with the hand, push the hips through. Good. And relax there again. Back to our groin stretch this time. So we start in this low position, push the knees apart. And then walk the hands out. Press up or not to press up. Press ups are optional or during this boga. So when you're ready, I'll wait for the beat. So one, two, breathe out. Press up. When you do these walk backs, try and keep the knees close to the floor. Okay, change the hand you move first so you're not overloading one shoulder. Knees close to the floor as you walk back. So keep the backside low, put some work through the legs and look after your lower back. So just by doing these walkouts as well, just putting some work through the shoulders and the upper body. Push these knees apart to so get really good groin strength. And rest. So this one's back into our hamstring stretch and reach. So again, if you've got tight hamstrings, hold the stretch for two or three breaths, especially at that running club this morning. I'm running at a tank track on Tuesday. Okay, so in this position, do a hamstring stretch. Breathe out, sink. And then reach up, big stretch up. And then swap legs. So get the stretch, breathe out, sink. Breathe out again, let's see. And then reach. Then swap sides. And up. And again. 
two big deep breaths. Sink each time. Make sure that front leg's locked out. So all the stretches through your hamstring. And rest there. Okay, back to our hip stretch. So remember the knee wants to go out to 90 degrees, okay, not underneath the chest, so out here. So we're trying to stretch here. Again, so it's very difficult to normally stretch at the end of a session. So in a press-up position, knee to 90 degrees. Again, just move your body weight. Find out where the sweet spot is, where you get the best stretch through that hip. Again, one or two breaths, and up, switch sides. Where should you be feeling it? So on the outside of your hips here. So the hip that's down, that's yeah. the one you should be stretching, feeling the stretch. So now you put your knee out to 90 degrees and the leg a little bit lower. Just move your body weight forwards and backwards, side to side. to 90 degrees, the hip that's down is one that's being stretched. And then stand it up. So if you don't feel any of these stretches, no matter how you play, right, you might just be loose enough or through the hips. Okay, already flexible enough. Some of them are, you feel more of a stretch because you're not very flexible. The ones you have to work hard to find a stretch might just mean you're very flexible through that plane of movement or that, uh, those muscles. So next one, a wide leg stance. So again, if you find this quite easy, just bring the hands in closer if you're on a bigger stretch. Again, wide stance, stretch, breathe, drop the hands to the floor, keep the heels on the floor, then up, and reach. Stretch, breathe, drop, reach, and breathe. That's good. So breathe in, stretch, drop, reach, and breathe. Remember, you stand up, you're trying to push the hands up and backwards. Trying to help stretch out through the upper body. And this will really help to push the hands back. Then, when we first started doing this, you could get your hands to about here, and now you can get all the way back. Okay. And rest. And our last one is our racing pigeon pose. The pigeon pose, just quicker. Now this time bring the knee underneath the chest and then either lower the chest down or stay upright and sink back. And again, switch sides with or without a press up. So again, the emphasis is on a big stretch. So if you feel this easily or you get a really good stretch through this, hold this for two or three breaths this time. Again, it's just all about moving your body position to find where the best stretch for you is. Everyone's slightly different. So I find mine staying upright and sinking right back on top. Other people prefer lying over the top of their leg to get the deeper stretch. rest there. Ok, 
Okay, so once more time, one more time through. So I said, all experts now. Okay, so our first one is an ab stretch. So let's go in a press up position, stretch out through the abs. At least you know which ones you want to do more of a stretch in, so hold them for three breaths. And the other ones you already feel quite flexible in, just hold for one or two. And again, always just keep moving your tweak in your body position to find the, where the best stretch is for you. All this stretching is very personal, everyone's different. We've all got strengths and weaknesses. Loose bits, tight bits. <laughs> yeah, when you lift the hips, you're trying to force the heels back into the floor. Yeah, so ex uh, extend that stretch and rest. Okay, so on our lunge and reach, so reverse lunge, same arm, same leg. Remember, trying to reach up and backwards behind, okay? That will make this side really long with one side so we can stretch here. Okay, we've just got the hang of this as well. If you squeeze the glutes on the same side, so when you're in this position, squeeze the back side, should feel the stretch go even further into here. There it is. So a good two or three breaths. Squeeze the glutes on the same side. And that will really accentuate the stretch. So again, if you want to put more emphasis into the stretch, put the knee down. If you want to work the legs at the same time, keep the knee up. Okay, next one to our groin stretch and a walk out. There's always one of these I don't like, and it's this one. <laughs> I find it really uncomfortable. Okay, so in that low position, push the knees apart. And then walk out. Press up, or not to press up. And then back in. Keep heels on the floor. Good deep breath. Force the knees apart. Good, so next one back to our hamstring stretch. If you've got tight hamstrings, just hold this stretch for a bit longer. Three, uh, at least three breaths. So drop every time you breathe out, try and sink a little bit lower. And then just stand up. Just reach up as high as you can, push the hips through. Again, help stretch out through the hip flexors and your abs. So sink. Every time you breathe out, lower. And reach. So big stretch up.
more time, sink back, keep the feet flat on the floor throughout the stretch, so all the hamstring stretches in. If you lift the toes when you do the stretch, the stretch just moves into your calf muscle. And we want to concentrate on the hamstring. And relax there. Okay, next one, back to our hip stretch. Let's move the knee out to 90 degrees, and then just tweak your body position to find out the best fit. All the best spots, so just out. Lower your weight down. Okay, you'll always find you're more flexible on one side than the other, it's never even. So if you're right handed, you'll be right side dominant, which means all you've got more muscle on your right hand side, which makes you less flexible. So that's why you always feel stretches on more one side than the other. It's also why you walk around the desert in circles. <laughs> I just made that up. That's why I did his job to you. I was just going to say, that's why he's no longer a Marine. I never got lost, because I always came back to the same spot. <laughs> same with rowing, eh? One shoulder Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and relax there. Uh, that's even worse. <laughs> yeah. that's okay, so two more to do, this wide leg stance. So remember, stretch out through the hamstrings, drop down, and then reach. It's good because actually this is the one I used to hate, don't mind this one now. So obviously you improve at it as you get over time. And a big reach mode to push the hands up and back as you stand up. I've not heard many people say that about burpees though. Yeah. <laughs> you know what happens, as you get better at it, you just do more of them quicker. Big push up with the hands, stretch, drop, and a reach, push upwards and backwards. There. Okay, and our last one, our pigeon pose, racing pigeon pose, knee right underneath the chest. And again, hold this for longer if you want to get a bigger stretch through the glutes. So come here, knee underneath the chest. And like I said, either sink back, so you're dropping backwards, or lower the chest down over the front. Whichever one works better for you. And again, if you extend your back leg as far as possible, that will help with this stretch. times. And rest there.
Okay, so you only need to do two static stretches at the end of this session because we've done most of those stretches there. Just want to do this hip flexor one for a long time and then your quads, all the rest we've pretty much done. So just do this uh, lunge and reach. Just hold this for a bit longer. So all the other ones were quite brief stretches. Just want to hold this for 30 seconds this time to really relieve the tension in here. Okay, well if you get the hang of this, so you just feel the stretch in here, not your quads. If you're a runner, always do this stretch. This is the only static stretch you do before you run. Okay, all the other ones, we do mobility stretches, dynamic stretches, so it loosens up the muscles. If you do static stretches, it lengthens your muscle fibers, you lose that elasticity. So we're actually trying to stretch this tendon here. If you can stretch this out before you run, after your warm up, just before you run, it'll really help your running. It improves your stride length, your gait, everything works better, okay? But only if you can feel it in here. If you can feel it stretching in your quads, don't do it. Because again, you'll lose that elasticity and strength through the legs. So that's why the, when we do our sessions, it's all mobility, kicks, walks, and, uh, and sort of dynamic stretches. And then at the end, you do the static stretches. It's the relength of your muscle fibers, which actually helps speed up recovery. There is some science to it, it's not just all beasting. <laughs> Clever beastings now. <laughs> okay, let's all just do your quad stretch. So grab hold of the foot, bring the knees together, push the hips through, and at the same time, push the foot into the hand. So this way, if you do all three things, you get a bigger stretch all the way through your quads, rather than just at the top. So bring the knees together, push the hips through, push the foot into the hand at the same time. And on the other side. Bring the knees together, push the hips through, and push the foot into the hand at the same time. So it's a little bit longer, keep pushing the hips in, or through, pushing the foot into the hand. Yeah, great work this morning, this afternoon. It's already the afternoon. Good effort. Okay, well done online. Hope you enjoyed that. And we'll see you in a week.